week. Who's so weak? <gasps> Good morning. Can you kiss your brother? Oh, is he so cute? Oh, do you love your brother? Is he so cute? So I did something for the first time in four years today. I think it's at least four. I went to the gym. <laughs> Baby's eight weeks old and that's the first time I worked out in three months at least because I wasn't working out at the end of my pregnancy for various reasons. Anyway, it felt so good to get back in there. I felt like I was rediscovering myself again. I was definitely not recreating myself because I know that I'll never be that person again. Even if I do start being like more physically fit and everything which is funny because my personality used to be like all about working out and like running and doing 5k's i was never like crazy crazy fit or anything but i really loved fitness and working out and all that kind of stuff and that's something that's kind of been put on the back burner with you know having babies for the last six years and it's something i want to rediscover again and retap into like that more powerful side of me i feel like motherhood is maybe more soft and in more ways than one and it's a good thing it's a good thing but i'm excited to um, get that energy back again and just strength. I knew I needed to do it again when we were in Florida We came back from the beach and I had to carry my beach chair and I was like whooped till we got off the beach And all I was carrying was like two beach chairs Ivani was carrying a beach chair and she's six like and she wasn't even complaining and I was just like dying My arms were burning. I'm like, yeah, it's time to get strong again And I know I can't really hit it too hard for at least another nine months if I'm gonna keep making milk for this guy so yeah, it's just like kind of a soft launch back into moving my body again <laughs> you like that <laughs> and all that so anyway I'm gonna take you around on a day in my life today the goal is to film all in one day because I have not done that in so long I want to show you more little details and I have some stuff to share with you it's actually gonna be a really fun day because this evening we're doing a bless the mama party for my friend who just had a little baby uh, another boy or three of my friends we all had boys in the past month and a half it's crazy anyway so we're going to another one of them I'm gonna show you our food inspiration for this one it's gonna be cute um, but yeah, I'm glad you're here. Let's get our day started. <gasps> Did mama leave you this morning? Were you daddy's little boy? You didn't even know it because you slept so good. Oh my goodness, he slept so good last night. Josh got up with him at like 2 to rewrap him up in his swaddle. And then I didn't hear a peep out of him until like 6. And I fed him and went to the gym. And he slept till 8.30 when I woke him up. Yeah. <laughs> but with babies, you just can't get too excited or too used to it because the next night might be completely different. Right, buddy? like to keep us on our toes. I love how they swim. So the reason I was able to work out this morning was because um, Josh was home this morning doing some book work and computer things. And so he was with the boys and got Ivani on the bus. I do have four kids. If you're new to my channel, six and under. And um, on the agenda today, we're doing potty training again. So you won't see any of that on here. Let's take a little assessment. What does this house look like with Josh being in charge for the last hour? We got some dishes, baby bottle stuff out. Okay, all in all, it could be a lot worse. Fletcher, come here. Here, Miller, put this in the bathroom. Thank you. You wanna help mom do the dishes? Here, you want your little toy? Mommy, mommy. What's wrong? Mommy. Oh, run to the potty. Run, run, run. Good job. Go, go, go. I'm just making scrambled eggs for breakfast with some sourdough toast. I'm gonna put in turkey and cheese and then I have my spice blend, which if you want the best egg spice blend ever, I have the recipe on my website. I'll link it down below. Um, but it's just salt, pepper, seasoned salt, paprika, and celery salt, and it's really good on egg. But my outfit here, this shirt is from Inherit. I'll link it, it's new, so it should be still in stock. And my skirt, this is so fun. I designed a fall line with Inherit Clothing Company and this skirt was one of the prototypes. We changed a few things up. We didn't like the claw marks on it and the, we went with a little bit of a darker wash, but it's so fun. I still wear it around all the time because it's a perfectly cute skirt. It's just never made it to market. And if you're wondering what in the world is that monstrosity in the corner, <laughs> I have been into playing worship music in the morning lately. I don't know, it just like 
lifts my spirit, like makes my blood pump. And I've been really liking the band Kane and just like some repetitive kind of praise and worship, me meditative kind of stuff, which is so funny. As a Mennonite growing up, I was always like kind of taught that those kind of songs compared to hymns were kind of inferior because it's just repeated phrases over and over again, whereas like hymns are actually rhyme or there's like thought put into the words. But I've been learning, let me turn this down a little bit, that that's the whole point. It's like meditating and you just say the same like phrase over, you sing it over and over again until it really sinks into your soul and you really start to feel it and believe it. And um, yeah, I think growing up, I kind of missed the point of worship music. Yeah, the repetition, sure, it's not as creative, but it's very, um, yeah, it's like a form of meditation. Plus you, the kids, I think it's good for them to hear mommy playing worship music, even though I don't sing along a ton because I'm kind of self-conscious of my singing. I'm not a great singer. <laughs> Let me add the cheese here. Um, when I was little, I actually, I, th I think I have nodules on my voice box. When I was little, I actually had to go on vocal rest for like a week. Um, yeah, I say it's like a broken body part. It's so sad because I love music. But you know what? It's fine. There could be so many worse things. And I'll just enjoy and appreciate other people's skills in singing. Like my husband and my daughter. Oh my word, Ivani has so much... Let me get this sourdough bread going. Ivani has so much confidence. She signed up to sing a solo at the spring program. I like hope she knows what she's getting into. She has to try out, so who knows if she'll make it or not. But I think she does have a good voice. I'm just gonna be so nervous if she gets it. I'll be like more nervous than her, I'm sure. And if you're wondering what the baby is all morning, let me tell you about KiwiCo. We've gotten crates from KiwiCo in the past for our big kids, but now KiwiCo has panda crates tailored specifically for that two month stage. And I will show you a few of the things that came in this crate, but I think this would have been so handy as a first time mom because you don't know what toys to buy. Toys are overwhelming. There's so many things out there. And then you hear all these voices about baby's development and all that and you can kind of feel a little overwhelmed and so I think subscribing to a panda crate rather than just buying a whole bunch of toys would be an excellent option and then when your baby's grown you can use them for the next baby and the next one like I think it would have been a great system so that I would just know that the toys that I have were thoughtful and intentional and fun of course as well but you can preview your crates before you order them online so you know what you're getting it's not just like a surprise um, a few of the items we got is this awesome pillow he loves this for tummy time my babies all love tummy time they all have strong necks they all curl really young um, and this has been really nice nice for that and or just lounging around on his back he loves this and the kids love to play with it with him baby flashcards have been really fun but just the conversation the eye contact when you're showing them to him he definitely gets really animated square that's a square we like a good square meal every day the star your mama is a shining star yeah especially when she lets you go golfing it's always the oh a maze Life is like a maze. You never know where you're gonna end up. And they're black and white for high contrast because that's what babies need at this stage. Again, Panda Crate is putting things in that are really specific for the stage that your baby's in at the moment. Oh my goodness, so many of my friends are into quiet books and this kind of reminds me of that except you can use it as a book or you can like stand up on the floor and your baby can use the mirror and look at themselves and it's just a lot of sensory things and just colors and things like that. I feel like this will grow with him as well. But hands down, the favorite item in this crate has been the play mat. He kicks around, does tummy time on there. The kids love to show him himself in the mirror. And yeah, it's just, he gets really animated when he's playing on his play mat. And each crate comes with the Wonder Play guide booklet that will tell you why things are in the crates and how you can use them, how you can play with them, why they are fun, why they're designed to be more than just toys. Yeah, it's just really interesting to read about your baby's development. I always read about, you know, my baby in my womb, like in my belly that development but then after they're out i don't really think to oh yeah what, what's going on at this stage you know and so this wonder play guide has come in handy and kiwico has all kinds of options for the different stages in your kids lives so definitely check them out and when you decide to order go to kiwico.com slash megan fox baby i will put it down below and on the screen as well so that you can get 20 percent off of your first crate again if you use that link that supports my channel and also it will get you a good discount and so now when you see things like this lying around in the background in a video you know what you're looking at breakfast something that's really hard the eating healthy is a definitely a hard part of getting fit again so I'm trying to make sure that I have things on hand that I can cook up quickly and like eat a little better than all the snackiness I've been doing postpartum <laughs> and he has passed out over here. Oh, I think
think my voice just might have woke him up, but that's okay. But I'm out here in the sun porch because when we were in Florida, we went to the Fox Mercantile and they had a disco ball and the kids just loved it. So I had been thinking about getting a disco ball over the winter. I never did it, but I thought it would be such a great addition to the sun porch with all the light streaming in. So I did order one and we're gonna hang it up. We're gonna install it and see what it looks like. The sun porch is such a dream. When we came home from Florida, I just looked at it and smiled and I'm like, I'm home. I love this spot. We realized we can't have it up here because the breeze, there's no breeze. I don't know why I thought there'd be like movement in here that would keep the disco ball moving. So we're gonna hang it right outside the window. So Josh went to get his stepladder. Guys, don't try this at home. I don't know what he was doing, but we'll say he's a professional construction dude, so it's allowed. <laughs> anyway, so he went out to grab his ladder and we're gonna hang it up outside. That way the spots are in here and the disco ball is out there, which I think is better anyway because the disco ball does not fit the vibe in this space anyway, but we'll still get all the pretty lights and everything. So that's the plan. We'll see if it works. If this doesn't work, I can always order a $22 like spinning rotating hook. But that seems annoying to have to always remember where the remote is and turn it on and it just seems annoying. I'd rather have it just blowing in the wind or something. So hopefully nature can just work its magic and we can hang it up right outside the window here. One, five, eight, nine. Say ten. Nine, five, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you hear him count? He said one, five, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay, what are you gonna play outside? Uh, you should tell Daddy to get your um, power wheels out while he's out there putting away the the ladder. Would that be fun? Yeah. No. Ride power wheels. Anyway, Baylor's up here helping me fold laundry, or I don't really fold it. I sort it, and then the kids take care of their own laundry. It's a genius system. Y'all should try it. By the time the kids are old enough to fold their own clothes, their clothes are actually big enough to need to be folded. So the boys still just throw their clothes into the proper drawers, and then Ivani actually folds some of her stuff, and she knows how to hang her dresses on hangers. She's doing that since she's three. Honestly, I really don't enjoy laundry very much. That's why I do a load every day, and I get the kids to help me. And you know what? I think through my hatred of laundry, my kids have learned younger to help with the laundry because it's something that I was like, they can help me with this, you know, since it's not my favorite. And it's going really good, so. Whoa. Whoa. 
When Mr. Grump watered, so did Gregory and his mom. And when the bugs threatened to eat all their plants, watermelons grew big and fat. And the tomatoes bumped up too. Jesus walking on the water. Then came Jesus walking on the water. Okay. Kiss. No. Okay, sleep good. You're touching your toys. Oh my goodness, this is a first. You did it today. Mama was filming. I was in the other room and I heard the toys clanking and I was like, wait, what? You got him. Good job. Oh my word, he's hitting him on purpose. I think you are. Look at that. Smarty pants. Little milestones are big deals when you're this little. Huh? I actually moved him here into the kitchen because I have to get some things done and I just want to be able to look at him. I know it's ridiculous. <laughs> He's waving his hands and trying to get his little star mobile. It's so fun when they start reaching milestones, but then it's also like sad because they're not newborns anymore. Anyway, tonight we're doing a bless the mama party for my friend who just had a baby and um, we're supposed to all, the theme of the night is boards. So you're supposed to bring like a little mini charcuterie board of some kind. Um, there's like different themes. If you go on Pinterest, you can actually find a lot of different inspo. I found a reel on Instagram that I'm gonna try to recreate. And maybe what I'm about to do now will give you a little bit of a hint. But these are just flour tortillas that I'm going to use a pizza cutter. And I'm just going to slice these in little wedges. And I'm gonna make my own tortilla chips. And then I was at Trader Joe's in Florida just last week. Let me show you a few clips from there. vlogged inside a grocery store I know <laughs> but Trader Joe's is like one of my favorites but anyway there I found this seasoning blend called Italian style sofrito and it has crispy onions sun-dried tomatoes sea salt garlic red pepper parsley rosemary and sage so I thought I'd use this along with maybe a little bit more of like the coarse salt I'm just going to toss these little tortilla wedges that I'm cutting with olive oil and then the seasoning and some more flaky salt and we're gonna make our own tortilla chips to dip our dip that I'm making. and now we're ready to make the board. I'm gonna use this really pretty travertine marble board that I got from Cacalico Creek. Hi. He's so happy, I just need to hold him. <laughs> You're falling asleep. And I'm gonna go off of this reel here that I found. I have a bunch of fresh herbs here that need to be used up. So I thought maybe I would like dice them up real small and have some basil and parsley to mix in with the feta, whipped feta. I'm really excited to try it, honey whipped feta and plain yogurt in the food processor and then we'll put the olives on top and maybe a little bit more of that seasoning since it's so pretty. Um, I think that'll be really good to eat. I don't know how well everything's gonna go together. We shall see. I know like Greek olives maybe should be more Greek flavored and this feels a little more Italian but I don't know. We'll have to try it and taste test it together before I assemble everything um, and see what we think. <laughs> he was falling asleep so I spottled him up because he likes to be spottled for a nap and that perked him right up and now he's like wide awake again so... I guess we'll just watch me cook here in the kitchen. You 
beside me and wait. I sing hallelujah. I bring my burden again to my father and my friend. I sing hallelujah. Anytime, any place, you stand beside me. Okay, I saved a little bit of feta, so we're gonna try this whole conglomeration together, see what it's like. Um, by the way, I learned how to make tortillas from getting Green Chef boxes, so, I mean, not tortillas. <laughs> Homemade tortilla chips. So I guess I'll just do some feta. Let's stick a couple different olives on here. I'm guessing the olives will taste better as they sit, but, okay. I need a little bit of herbs. It's really good, but I feel like you can taste the olives, and then you can taste the feta and you can taste the yogurt. Like, why does it not all have one flavor? It's really good. I'm excited to see what the girls think. I like it. It's definitely different. Very pretty. I know Josh would not like it, but I personally think it's amazing. Oh, I just heard the bus. I better go get my daughter. How was school? Good. How's cooking? Want to try a chip? What's this? Um, it's like feta cheese whipped up in the blender. I mm. know. Oh, and then the olives. I'm gonna put them in the middle. You wanna watch? Mm -hmm. Okay, I just put this in a Tupperware container and I'm gonna put a lid on it and carry it along like this. Uh, yes, I did in fact melt my lid years ago, but we still use her. Okay, this is my favorite spring dress ever. It's like I designed it or something. Honestly guys, it's perfect in every way. I will link it below, it's from Inherit, but it's like this gauze green color. It's like the perfect color, the perfect fabric. These are the kind of dresses I never take the time to sew because obviously it takes so much work with all the buttons and the collar and everything. Pockets, and it just fits so nice. The length is so ladylike and flattering. I feel like I'm going to a tea party or something. This is so pretty. I'm gonna wear this on Mother's Day probably. Oh my goodness. I don't even think I showed you the shoes, but they have bows on them, so I feel like it goes really good with the dress. Anyway, this basket, um, I showed you guys this before, but it has so many uses. I'm gonna use this to throw all my stuff in. I have a little baby gift for her, and actually, let me show you. I wanted to bring something specifically for her for postpartum, so I got a few fun little goodies in there, including this silk eye mask. I use this so much at the beginning when I had to deal with like the light in our room when we had a baby in there, and. I don't know, the first couple weeks, you're just never sleeping very good. And anyway, I'm just gonna put all the food in here and take the basket with me right like this, ready to go. I actually should probably grab a jacket because it's still cold out there, you know. Spring is just tricky. It's back and forth all the time. But yeah, I guess we'll go off and have a good evening. It's gonna be fun to have a girls night. Josh is actually just getting pizza, so I don't have to cook tonight.